Well, hello guys, welcome back. So I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving, whatever you celebrated yesterday. I'm actually doing this Thanksgiving Day night, but you're not going to see it until tomorrow. I did okay today, and I did terrible today. I got up, I was feeling pretty good. We are in a party atmosphere, put all the lights on, I'm playing happy music. I'm watching each video as it launches, because I had been working on this for over a week and, like, scheduling stuff for a while. So every time a video would schedule, I'd go watch it to make sure it was playing okay. I had checked them when they uploaded, but, you know, just I double and triple check sometimes. So everything was fine. I was getting crickets, but I'm like, well, it's a holiday. You either get a crazy amount of people or you get nobody at all. So, but I'm still doing pretty good. We have breakfast. We're having fun. A couple hours pass, um, you know, watching each video as, as it launches, as it was scheduled. And I call my friend, and she's, she's super mean, so that part wasn't great. And she tells me very nastily they're going to send a plate down. I'm like, is it going to be poison? But I didn't say anything. I said, okay, well, happy Thanksgiving. She hangs up on me. I'm like, wow. And, I, you know, I knew she was hurt. I knew it's kind of, I hate to say this, but this country seems divided politically. And since the country's divided politically, it's also divided between science and belief. And I think she took it personally that I wanted to protect her because I'm one of those science people. And, you know, um, it was hard because I knew I made her angry. And I knew I hurt her and I figured, well, they're not going to send any food down. She just said that to be bitter. And uh, the day goes on and she ends up calling and they are going to bring food down. Well, he brings the food down. So I made up a little bag of snacks and I put it out for them with a happy Thanksgiving note on it. And, you know, they got the snacks and I got the food and brought it in. And I had, you know, watched first because COVID, you know, um, in this state, you have to be wearing your mask indoors. If you have anyone from outside your house in your in your house, you have to be wearing it the whole time. No exceptions. So um, I'm wearing my mask and I thought maybe he'd knock on the door or something, and I'm watching him through the window, and then he went, and I went outside, and I got my stuff, and I brought it in, and I had watched him through the window, and I was kind of doing okay, but then I looked at the box of food, and I thought about how we should have been having it together, and started to get a little wobbly, and, you know, emotionally, and I, I ate Thanksgiving, and I watched some news, and at one point, I went in to meditate after after I had some food. They sent so much food down. I nibbled on it all day. I went in to meditate and I ended up having a good cry because, you know, um, it felt like half the country didn't even bother. And I thought, why did I bother? Why did I make this sacrifice? You know, why, why would I, you know, not spend time with my friends when it seems like even the people telling us not to spend time with our friends went ahead and jumped on a plane and went to see their friends and family. And I just, I started to cry, and I started to cry more, because I knew the more we do this, the more we each keep, you know, I, I understand people are human. I understand people can't take anymore. But the more we do this, the damn longer we're going to have to do this, you know? Like, the more times we don't behave, and the more times we do the wrong thing, the longer this is going to go on. So I had even more of a cry. <laughs> and, you know, I don't want to see people... You know, I told one of you weeks ago, I am tired of giving out Darwin Awards. I don't want to see catastrophe at Christmas. I'm hoping by some goddamn miracle the god of stupid people goes, you know what, people in that country are just dumb and protects everybody and we don't get the surge they say is coming for Christmas. I am hoping that that is what happens, you know. I am hoping that the god of stupid people just looks down and blesses this country and goes, well, they're dumb, so they're mine. And, you know, I, I, I get people going, you know, and doing what they want to do. I get that. I wanted to call my friend. I was hoping and I was trying to bargain with her god, you know, because apparently he's protecting people. It's amazing how many bishops have died of COVID. Oh, I got a shade. But, you know, um... You know, I was even trying to bargain with her God that if you will protect us, give us a sign. You know, they don't do that, by the way. They don't do that. The old man gave me my odds at the very beginning. He said 50-50. I looked at him. I said, you bring more joy into my life every day. He goes, I know, my dear. So, you know, um, they don't do that. They don't do that. They do the best they can by us. But, you know, obviously, 
I've never gotten a test. I don't think I have it. How the hell would I know? I don't know if she has it. I don't know if he has it. So, you know, and the rules in the state, you know, you have to wear the mask indoors when you have a visitor. I'm like, how the hell are you even supposed to eat them? Because you're supposed to have them on the entire time. I'm like, can we take them down to eat? I, I don't understand, but I knew it wasn't safe. Especially the cases are going through the roof in this area and the kids are going back to cyber school. So, yeah. But, you know, I cry. And it's okay to cry. A lot of us are going to cry. And maybe maybe you went to Thanksgiving. You're watching this and feeling worse and worse. And you want to have a good cry because you're worried about your family. I've already been there. Remember that woman having to drive me to the emergency room? And remember me having to go to the doctor's appointment? I felt terrible for everybody. Even though I was wearing my mask and I was distanced from everybody and everything else. I thought, oh my god, what if I have it? What if I'm making people sick? I know how that feels. So <laughs> I know both things. Um, and it's just, it's a hard year on all of us. You know, no matter what side we fall on. Um, I will be glad when this is behind us. I will be glad when we have a sure thing, when we have a sure vaccine, when we have a sure cure for it. I will be happy when we can go back to life as normal because it's clear Americans can't be trusted with simple directions and simple science because that is just too much for us. <laughs> I got to ooh back here. And it's just, you know, it's going to be a hard winter. You know, I'm not talking about some kind of catastrophe coming or anything, but I think between, you know, the transition that won't trans be a transition, though it's, it's starting to kick into gear, and people wanting to pretend science doesn't exist if it scares you or it doesn't let you do what you want to do, and, you know, it's just, it's, it's going to be a hard winter. I am hoping and praying that the god of stupid people just protects his country because that's the only hope we have now. The the rest seem to be doing the best they can, but there I there has to be a god of dumb people specifically. There has to be a god of the really stupid, willful people. That has to be the god to come fix this for this country. Look, he's like, I don't know, don't look at me. So yeah, so um I hope you guys had a good one. And, you know, it's okay to cry. We we all miss our families. We all miss our families. And th those friends are my family to me. We miss our families. We, you know, we miss being able to, hell, I miss being able to go out to get my annual Thanksgiving Day cup of coffee and a donut. I really miss that. And I was crying about that, too. And so Odin ended up taking me back to Steam. He's like, how much would you have spent? Okay, let's go to Steam. Here you go, honey. Get a video game. <laughs> so, you know, um, it, it's been hard on all of us. And I think I was also crying, too, because, you know, there's this, um, I can't, I can't even think of his name, but there's this guy that does these walking simulators, basically. And I played one of his newest ones yesterday, last night actually, and basically my rig becomes a hot little potato when I play these things and they're so damn pretty. But I need a new rig too, so I cried about that too. I cried about a lot of things today, so I'm okay now. I'm okay. Had turkey and pumpkin pie and sweet potatoes and cranberry and oh, she sent down coleslaw that I haven't eaten yet. She sent down cookies. Eat those. They sent down four Diet Cokes. Like, they'll feed you all this food and they give you a Diet Coke. <laughs> yeah. um, I just kind of drink them and I don't say a word. I'm like, you're both fat. But I don't say a word. Um, you know, and I, I just, you know, I had mostly a good day. I had mostly a good day. It was just, it caught up with me. 2020 caught up with me and I finally had a good cry. It's that scene in those movies from the 50s or the 40s where the woman, you know, finally has enough and she breaks down. She sobs like twice, exactly twice. <laughs> and then she's she's getting up and she's not crying anymore. Yeah, it's that, that kind of cry. <laughs> so we will be okay, guys. It's okay to cry. It's okay to get mad. It's okay to do anything. I don't I don't judge the people who went out. I wish the fuck people would listen at least wear masks because then we could all stop wearing masks at some point. But, you know, it is what it is. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.